Good morning, everyone. Let us begin our 40 minute workout with a little bit of a warm up, taking some time to feel those limbs reach up overhead and long down in front of you, lengthening your breath, and then drawing your knees in towards the chest. Just give yourself a little hug here, rocking from side to side. And then offering up some circles through the knees, just loosening up through the lower back as you take them one direction and then the opposite direction. We'll send the arms high, we'll send the legs high, and just roll through the wrists and the ankle joints for a moment. And then splitting your knees wide, aim them towards your armpits as you come into a happy baby, grabbing the outside edges of your feet, sending that tailbone long. And again, rock from side to side. It may feel kind of nice through the lower quadrants of the spine. And then we'll bring our feet wide on the mat, knees pointing towards the ceiling, and just wash through the knees from side to side here, rolling across the glutes and getting a little spinal twist as well. So dropping as far as is com comfortable for you. And then one more little hug in towards the chest and we'll get ready for our booty blast. So we're gonna take those hip lifts first with feet parallel to one another, hips distance apart. Send your tailbone long so you feel a little grounding through the lower back here and a connection to your navel as you hug it towards the spine. And then sending those hips high, let's start with a slow pace as we press into the feet and then lower just to a hover, squeezing at the top, keeping some engagement even as you lower. Soften through your face and just let that breath be strong at the top of the lift as you feel that engagement through those glutes. So the knees are stacked over the heels so you're not feeling any jamming sensation through the knees, but letting the back body get that build of tension and then soft release as you lower. Nice slow pace to really tune into your alignment, tune into your rhythm here. And we'll take our slow pace parallel feet bridge for another five, four, three, two, one. The hips stay lifted. Let's offer up some heel lifts and lowers. So you're squeezing the whole time to keep the lift through the hips. It's just the heels that go up and down. So feeling maybe a little more calf engagement, a little more work through the Achilles. If you need to walk your feet in a little closer towards your torso to get that lift, you can certainly do that. But notice if tension's building through the jaw, soften through the back teeth. That's it, Michelle, you've got it. Keep going here, squeezing the whole time. And we'll take these heel lifts and lowers. Let's go for five. Four, three, two, one. Heels stay lifted. Toes can walk a little closer towards your glutes. Send those hips as high as you can and lift from there. Double time your pace. Very little drop through the hips. You're squeezing the whole time, keeping that squeeze to the glutes and not to your face. Keep going. Nice and high through those hips. Maybe even a little reminder tap that they are firing as much as you can. That's it, Sarah. Keep going. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Oh, yeah. Again, just taking stock, how you're holding your tension. Let it be focused on the glutes, the hammies. Sending that tailbone long. Nice work. Let's finish in 10 nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down, hug both knees and towards the chest. Release through the lower back, rock from side to side. We're gonna orient our glute work onto our forearms and come into one-legged variations. So find your shoulders, stack over your elbows. Forearms are parallel to one another. And we'll take a one-legged version, sending the right leg to the outer right corner of your mat, and then it takes a diagonal 
to the left corner. So little half circles as we work the outer hip, the inner thigh to travel. Hug the belly to the spine so you're not dropping too much through the front body, but focusing that engagement through the back body. Nice lifting and lowering, everyone. Really feel that glute engagement and even hamstring engagement to lift the leg. And that left knee is stacked underneath the left hip and you're trying not to sway too much outside of your midline. So keeping that left hip stacked over the knee. Let's take these traveling leg lifts for another five, four, three, two, last one. Keep the leg extended long, point through the toes, foot is higher than that right hip, and then pulse it up from here. So double timing your pace, but feeling that inner leg line switch on, keeping that left hip stacked over that left knee. Ooh, that's starting to work for me. Yeah, that's it, you guys. Look super strong. Nice, Amanda. Keep going. Again, just checking in that you're drawing your navel towards your spine so you're not really collapsing into your lower back here. Let's finish these in five, four, three, two, one. We'll take a wide knee child's pose. Send the hips back towards the heels as you tap the toes together. Reach long through the fingertips, forehead down. And now we get to work that left leg after that right leg is now going to have to support us. Let's see how that feels. So starting again with those opposite corner taps. Here we go. So left leg lifts and crosses over as we firm up through that back left leg. And just notice that you're not dumping too much over onto that right side of your mat. Come back to the center line and support with your navel contraction. Yeah, that's it, really good work. Nice, Margaret, keep going. Shoulders are over those elbows so you're not pitched too far forward. That inner leg line is working for you as well. Last five of these, four, three, two, one. Keep that leg, leg lifted, point through the toes. So lots of energy through that lifted leg and pulse it up from here. Again, modifying where you need to well, there's really not much modification here. We are doing the work, but stay proper with that right hip stacking over that right knee. Stay with your breath. Press into your forearm so there's not collapsing through the shoulders either. Just a little bit more work here, guys. So good. And we'll finish these up in five, four, three, two, one, again, taking that child's pose just to give yourself a little release here. Deepening your breath, sending your tailbone towards your heels. Nice work. I think we do one more little blast and we'll come into butterfly bridges. Just working those outer hips a little more, inner thighs all warmed up from that previous work. Soles of the feet together, just one minute slow pace here. So send your tailbone long as you press into the outside edges of the feet. Send those hips as high as you can and lower to a hover. So squeezing through the glute need here, keeping that tailbone lengthening. Again, a little cinching through the waist as you draw those hips towards those ribs. Yeah, it looks great, Margaret, keep going. Softening through the jaw, relax through the neck. And we'll finish up these slow paced butterfly bridges. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, really squeezing, last six, five, four, oh yeah, three, two, 
one. Lower it down. Hug those knees in towards the chest. Great work, you guys. Finished with our bridge work. We'll move on to our core, targeting the tubular core first through our planks. So coming on to your right side forearm, your left foot is in front to offer up some support. We'll do 30 seconds of a stationary lift in our side plank, and then we'll add the scoop under at the 30 second mark to finish out our minute. Heels, hips, and shoulders all in one line, and let us begin. So reach nice and high through your left fingertips. Let it pull you away from that right side shoulder to avoid collapsing. And you're pressing into your feet to send your left hip as high as you can. Yeah, that looks so good, you guys. Find your breath here. You can always come down to that right knee if you need a little more support. You're still getting plenty of work along that right side waist. But before you know it, we're already halfway through. Let's add the scoop under. So this nice thoracic rotation while keeping those hips lifted. That is the engagement that we're trying to go for in that right side oblique. So finding that stability through the hips even while we offer this arcing shape through the arm. Fantastic. That's it, Joe. Nice work. Keep going. And finished with our right side plank, we'll set up for our back extensions. So this morning we're going to do a little kickback, but we're going to isolate it just to the lower body so you can pad your forehead down on your stacked palms. And then we're just sending the legs and fluttering through the legs. So no upper body for this first set of our back extensions. So point through the toes like we did when we were doing our little glute work. But this is targeting more of those extensors as you feel those inner leg lines switching on and really paddling through your legs. Stay with your breath here, just 30 seconds of back extension work. Take it out of the neck if you want to pad your forehead down. Last three, two, one. Nice work. We'll send those hips back towards the heels. Forehead can come down. And I think we go straight for our 90 second forearm plank hold. We've got this. Set up your feet, find your forearms supporting, and here we go, we're on the clock. So pace yourself, starting with your plank set up, pressing those heels away, firing up through the quads. And connect with your breath as you find those floating ribs really drawing towards your frontal hip points. And again, no collapse of the shoulders as you press into those forearms. Soften through the jaw. Modify by coming down to your knees if you need to, but you guys have got this. So by firming up through the legs, you keep those hips nice and honestly lifted, neither too high nor too low. Just right. Really good work, you guys. That's it, Margaret, stay with it. We're already one minute through our plank. So if you need to take a break, coming down, fine. Jump back in if you're able. That's it, Sav. Whew. Last 15 seconds, guys. I don't know, it feels like a long weekend through my body right about now. <laughs> Last five. Four, three, two, one. Come on down. We'll take penguins for our back extensions here. So this time we get to add the upper body lifting up off the mat. Tack your heels towards one another. Lift through the thighs and send your fingertips down each leg as you shrink through the side waist, waddling like a little penguin. So good. That's it, Sarah. So there's a lift through the chest as you draw the shoulder blades towards one another, spreading open through the collarbones, but really feeling those extensors fire to keep those thighs lifted. Yeah. Three, two, one. Let's take a child's pose to relieve 
Any lower back tension, nice little stretch, breathing into the backs of the lungs. One more minute to go in our planks, guys. Setting up with the left forearm down, right foot in front. 30 stationary, 30 scoop under. And here we go. So if this side feels a little weaker, you can certainly add that left knee down. That was a lot of work to keep those hips lifting no matter what shape you take through the legs. But feel that vertical stacking through the shoulders, avoiding collapsing in that left shoulder. And send those hips a little higher. Yeah, looks great, Sab. Here we go, we're halfway through. So adding that sweeping motion through that top right arm while keeping the lift of that left waist away from your mat. Fantastic, Amanda, you got it. Keep going. Oh yeah. Check in with your left shoulder. Press away from it. Last three, two, one. Change. Well done, you guys. We are onto our abs. I'm gonna walk us through our set of four rounds that we have today. So the idea is working for 20 seconds at your own pace and a 10 second rest. So here we go. We're gonna do a double crunch. So the knees are stacked over the hips. So double crunch, pretty straightforward. And then you add the heel drop. And then return to your double crunch, add the heel drop. Maintaining that nice length of the tailbone so that the belly is supporting that lower back, pinning down to the mat. We're gonna do open leg crunches. So you're taking a straddle and it's reaching through and then coming back down. So getting that lift as much as you can through the legs as the arms reach forward. Our second one is going to be um, basically a hip lift. So you're bringing your forearms down to support, to brace you. Legs shoot up towards the ceiling. You can bend up through the knees. And then it's just a nice lift up the hips and a slow descent of the hips. So lots of control here, really working the abdominals and not momentum. And then we're gonna finish up with can-cans. So we're on our forearms. We're gonna bring the right knee into the chest, right leg send it high. This is stage one. If you wanted to amplify the work, you would float the leg that's not doing the can-can from the mat. So you decide what shape you want to take through the extended leg. Those are our four. Again, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Double crunch, heel drop. Find those knees stacking over. And crunch, crunch. Stay lifted as you drop the heels. Double crunch. Use your exhale to lift the back body away from the mat and pin the lower back towards the mat as you drop those heels. Yeah, that's it. Nice, Michelle. Change. We'll take a straddle sit up. So sending your legs away from one another or a V shape through the legs. And then we're just reaching through, crunching through the center. So feel those inner leg lines switching on here. Maybe even a little energy as you point through the toes or you could flex through the feet, or you could floint, which is a combination of both. Yeah, Sab, that's awesome. Woo. Change. We'll take our hip lifts. So brace yourself with the forearms down, and we'll send those hips high, and then slow lower. Here we go. So really working through the entire core here. So lots of lift from the lower belly, Upper belly's helping that slower descent. Yeah, that's it, Sarah. Fantastic. Stay with your breath. Change. And we'll come into our can-cans. So finding your forearms down, shoulders are over the elbows. And you decide what you want to do with that lengthened leg. Maybe you bring it back down, or maybe you float it. Really good. Don't know if 
you guys have noticed, but we've done, we're doing a lot of front body rather than oblique work here, but it'll start to pay off, you'll see. <laughs> Double crunch, heel drop. Three, two, one, here we go. And then dropping. So double crunch. Try not to rely on your hands pulling up your head. So light support through those fingertips. And returning back to that nice stacking of the knees over the hips. Oh yeah. Change. Good work. Let's take those straddle crunches, sending those legs away from one another. Three, two, one. Here we go. How much of the back body can you lift up off the mat? So really using those arms to reach forward. Yeah, fantastic, Margaret. You got it. Three, two, one. Change. Nice work. Ooh. Taking everything out of the neck right now as we come into our hip lifts. Here we go. So be aware of how softly you can land with control. Not too consumed with how high you get through the hips, but really focusing on that lowering. That's it, Michelle. Nice pace. Change. Let's finish up with our can-cans. Some energy through the toes. Three, two, one. Here we go. Knee to chest. Send it high. So let your breath be your guide of how many reps you get in. Yeah, that's it. Nice work, you guys. Three, two, one, change. Yowza. Two more rounds of these. Double crunch, heel drops. Stacking those knees over the hips. Two, one, here we go. As you're finding your alignment, does that mean you quicken your pace or do you take it back a notch going a little deeper? You decide. Yes, yeah, Sav, nice. Three, two, one. Change. Let's split those legs. Energy through the toes. Reaching those hands forward. And here we go. So relying on your belly strength to lift you away from your mat. Nice extension through the legs. That's it. If you're feeling any neck tension, you can obviously support lightly with your hand. Nice work. Find your forearms supporting. We'll send those hips high and lower slowly. And you're off. Nice work. Great control. That's it, Amanda. Soften through your jaw. Stay with your breath. Oh, yeah. Change. Finishing up with our can-cans. Lean on back. Three, two, one. You got it. Finishing strong this round, and then just one more to go. We got this. Decide where that floating leg is. Maybe it needs to be grounded. Three, two, one. Change. Last round. Double crunch with a heel drop from the top. Three, two, one. Go. Really keeping that lower back pinning down as you drop those heels. Nice work. That's it, Michelle. Three, two, one. Change. Send those legs nice and high. Find your straddle. Three, two, one, and crunch on up. Can you find a little more back body lifting away from the mat? Oh yeah. Nice work. 
That's it, Margaret. So good. Keep going. Three, two, one. Change. Hip lifts. Send those legs up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Maybe you get a little more height. Maybe you slow down your descent even more. What is left for this final round? Nice exhale to get that lift. Change. And we'll dance it out with our can-can for the last round. Three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah. Nice extension through those legs. Yeah, so pretty, Sam. You got it. Keep going. Nothing through the lower back. So if grounding down that heel helps support that, take that option. Change. All right. Well done on your ab work, guys. I'll walk us through our squats and other bits and bobs. So for our squats this morning, we're going to do a squat kickback. So targeting more of that those glutes and hamstrings as we kick back. So you come through your center squat and then you just send your leg back behind you, really squeezing through the glutes. If you wanted a little more challenge, you could come up onto your tippy toes, but not at the sacrifice of the kickback. Our upper body work for this morning, we are gonna do a bare plank press up. So you start in your floating tabletop with the kneecaps just hovering. You walk back to a plank. Your option here is to take a press up either on your knees or full press up. You walk back to your bear. You could just do bear to plank for your upper body work. Lots of lower belly engagement as you travel through that. Our balance work will take our extensions with the right toes reaching long out to the right right fingertips, we're grounding through the left leg, elbow to knee crunch, send the limbs away from each other, elbow to knee crunch, and then reach fingertips, toe tips long. We'll catch the left side as we progress, and then of course mountain climbers for the first four rounds of cardio. Squat kickbacks to begin. So find your feet more than hips distance apart, be generous, not too wide though. Come on down low, tailbone lengthening, chest lifted, and here we go. So you're finding that lift, that level change as you send your legs back behind you. Getting that nice glute engagement. So don't deny the depth through the squat and don't deny the lift. So strong, that's awesome you guys. Change. So you're in a hovering tabletop, be honest with where your hips are in space. We walk it back to a plank and add the press up. Here we go. If you're a big press up fan, you can always just do straight up press ups. And see about alternating maybe which knee you walk in first to your tabletop, and swapping it out. Yeah, that's it, Sarah. Nice control. Change. So again, toe tips, fingertips reaching away. We find a side body crunch and a little balance challenge as we send those limbs away. So finding a point of focus in front of you, deepening your breath, drawing up on that left quad to support the stand. Ooh, yeah, and no need to rush these. You can bring your left hand to your hip, that might help with balance. Nice work, you guys. Mountain climbers, we're taking opposite knee to opposite elbow as we run these out. Of course, you can always walk them out, but let's get our heart rate elevated. Shoulders, stack them over your hands. Light through your toes. And belly drawing to the spine. Nice work. Change. Back to the top, three more rounds of those. Joe, so glad you're joining us. <laughs> Come on down low in that squat. And your furry friend, so cute. <laughs> so really feeling almost like a little lift through the chest, like you're soaring. 
strong through the legs, stay with your breath. Nice deep into those hip flexors and then lifting. So good, so good. All right, we're taking our hovering tabletop, walking it back to a plank and adding the press up if you want. Here we go. So lots of navel connection as you move on your mat. Yeah, great, Margaret. Three, two, one, change. This time we'll send our left toes away, left fingertips high, elbow to knee, and then send them nice and lifted. See how we go on this side. Deepening your breath. Yeah. So the tendency I'm finding, at least for me, is to lean way over to the right. See if you can get a little more vertical through that right side of your body. Change. Mountain climbers, round two. How's your pace for this round? Here we go. So plenty of clearance to find knee to opposite elbow as you hug your belly to the spine. Yeah, fantastic. That's it, Sarah, nice work. Maybe catch your breath in a low squat. Three, two, one. And here we go. Sad. That weather looks magical there, by the way. It's keeping me going. <laughs> nice work. Do we add the tippy toe? Are we getting confident in our squats that we can lift up? Maybe. Maybe not. Three, two, one. Change. Catch your breath in a floating tabletop, question mark. Three, two, one, here we go. How's your pace? Stay with your breath. Commit to this upper body strength. Modify by coming to your knees if that makes more sense. Three, two, one, change. Back to working that right side. Extension, left side balance. Three, two, one, here we go. Yeah, really nice time to find your breath. Moving slowly. Great work, you guys. Three, two, one, change. Third round of mountain climbers. Let's go for it. Prepare. And let's go. So driving those knees, quickening that pace. This is your cardio blast. Yeah. Fired up. I love it. Keep going. Three, two, one. Change. Now we catch our breath in our squats. Last round of this set of four. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice work, you guys. So lots of front belly engagement to help with that lift of the back leg. You're not just collapsing into your flexibility here through the lower back. Three, two, one. Change. Bear plank to press up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Yeah. So good. Each movement has its specific alignment, so find it. Whew. Change. We'll balance on that right standing leg. Send those left fingertips, left toe tips long. And here we go. Again, notice if there's a big lean away from your left side limbs. Try and find that nice 
vertical reach through the right side. Yeah, fantastic, Joe. That looks great. Change. Mountain climbers. Fourth and final. Catch your breath in your plank, maybe. Let's go. Don't think, just move, just breathe. Legs are doing the work. Such good belly contraction to send them to the opposite corners. Strong through the arms. Three, two, one. Change. Great work on that first round, you guys. Really well done. I'll walk us through our next set of four. So this next squat is gonna be left and right. So you may find a little more clearance depending on your surface area, but we're gonna take a semi-circle in our squat. So I think I'm gonna to come to the top corner of top of my mat. So I'm bending low, I'm reaching my right foot forward, and I take a half circle, and then I bring it back forward. So working that left leg, trying to stay nice and low. The temptation is to lift out of that, but keep your squat in that left leg and draw a little half circle. We'll catch opposite sides through the rounds. Our upper body work, tricep dips. So your hands, toes, and fingers are facing the same direction. And you can take this to a piece of furniture if you want. Just bending both elbows equally. Hips are along for the ride for our tricep dip. We'll carry on with that balance with fingertips and getting that oblique work. And then of course, mountain, uh, sorry, wide legged burpees to get our cardio blast. So come on down to one side of your mat so you have that clearance to sweep that foot in a semicircle. So you're starting out in your squat and then you reach your right toes forward. Three, two, one. And getting that sweeping action while avoiding coming out of the squat in the left leg. Oh yeah. Should start to feel this pretty quickly. Let that right leg be energized, pointing through the toes to get that inner outer hip working. Change, happy to come out of that, right? Find yourself in your reverse tabletop, setting up for your tricep dips. Here we go. You can lift the toes. I find that a little freeing. And again, opening up through the collarbones here, shoulder blades drawing down the back as you're bending through those elbows equally. Margaret, what a champ, taking it to the couch. I love it. Change. Let's work on that balance again. Maybe a little more lift, maybe a little more extension. Perfecting it as we get our balance working. Whoa. Embracing the wobbles, always. Maybe the toes don't tap down. That's how strong you are. Ooh, it's hard not to lean, though. Yeah, that's it. Nice, Amanda. Change. So wide-legged burpees. I invite you to take them how you like them. Jumping the whole time, walking the whole time, a combination of both. Here we go. Let's go, Jesse. So good. Oh, superior height. That just comes when you're that age. So good, honey. Woo! Three, two, one. Change. Oh, to be young again. <laughs> All right, we're coming back down in our squat. And we're sending the left toes forward. And then we find that sweeping action while keeping that right side in the squat. So a little balance challenge here. You may find that. Hug the belly to the spine. Three, two, one. Change. Yowza. Tricep dips. If you're feeling a little tender through the wrist, you may want to come to your fists. That's a nice little option. Again, try and peel open through the chest and just let the triceps do the lifting and lowering. No need to rush these to feel them. Three, 
two, one, change. We'll check out our balance now with the left toes extending. Maybe they don't even tap down. We're strong through that right leg. Yeah, so smooth. That's it, nice work you guys. Good work, Steve. Three, two, one, change. Second round of wide-legged burpees, Jesse. Come on out of the kitchen. Two, one, you got it. <laughs> I hope it's not in between bowls of cereal, honey. <laughs> that might give you a tummy ache. So good. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, change. Steve, you got really heavy on those, just saying. <laughs> Come on down low. We're sweeping with the right leg, staying nice and bent to the left. Here we go. Left quad super strong. Belly hugs to spine to support that leg movement through the right side. Oh yeah. Three, two, one, change. Find our tricep dips. We got them. Three, two, one. Let's go. Light through those toes. That's it, Sarah. Fantastic. Girls out on the porch doing it on the furniture. So good. Keep going. Three, two, one. Change. How are we going to do on our balance? Setting the right toes, right arm high. And then elbow to knee connection. There's that oblique work. Such good control. Let your breath be even. Supporting the balance. Change. Third round of wide-legged burpees. <laughs> if you can see what I can see, guys, it's inspiring. Let's go. 20 seconds. Get that heart rate up. Channel your younger 10-year-old, 9-year-old self. Keep going, keep going. Woo. Three, two, one, change. One more round. Let's blast it out through our little half circles. Depth through that right quad, keep it low. Send those left toes forward and around. Yeah, so good. So these are effectively just a different orientation of what we were doing through our glute work on our forearms. But this one I'm feeling a lot more. Woo. Change, good work. Tricep dips. Set it on up. And here we go. Do you get an extra rep in? Do you slow it down? Really using your elbows and triceps like little hydraulics here. Yeah, that's it, Joe. Nice work. Three, two, one. Change. Last time, find that smooth balance work. Drop through that right quad. Here we go. Best round yet of these guys. Looks so good. Nice height through that leg, Sav. That's really impressive. <laughs> and you just went higher. So good. <laughs> Three, two, one, change. Hey guys, you can join in for this last round, wide-legged burpees. Let's see you. Get your energy up. Little spirit fingers, anyone? Here we go. Travel on your mat lightly, connect to your belly and get that heart rate up. Yes, yeah, so strong. That's it. Nice, Margaret. Stay with it. Last three. 
three, last two, last one. Well done. Thank you guys. Such good work this morning.